Okay, so the next speaker is Farhan Soleimani from uh, Data Driven. So good afternoon everyone, uh, I'm Parma Soleimani and I'm working at BDB Data Driven and, uh, on Rengen. And um, today I'm going to talk about our recent work on uh, incorporating the S4 type inference information in Rengen just in time compiler. So the reason we are interested in uh, the uh, S4 uh, method dispatch is that we are as part of the uh, uh, European Commission collaboration with several uh, uh, several university, European universities. Uh, we have to address the computational issues that people in bioinformatics experience, and uh, people in, the, uh, in bioinformatics uh, use. Uh, uh, packages from uh, Bioconductor and these packages heavily depend on the S4 method dispatch and it's uh, many of the most popular packages which are often used as dependencies that depend on the S4 method dispatch. So the, the, the object systems in R uh, are uh, generic function um, uh, based uh, uh, um, Dispatch and uh, the the S3 uh, dispatches uh, based on the class of the first argument, and the S4 takes the class of the all arguments that are part of the signature. And I will uh, more go more into the detail uh, in the later uh, slides. And we have the uh, recent uh, R6, uh, which is extending the S4 in various ways, and uh, I'm not going to uh, talk about that today. So uh, the S4 object system is, consists of uh, uh, different components, one of them being the, the S4 classes, which are basically structures that you know, define the day or day class. So uh, the, the classes uh, are set with set class and initiated uh, with new class, uh, with new and uh, they, contain, they have the slots that contain the data, they have a name and they have a slot that contains the inheritance information, whether, what are the super classes of these classes. And then you have the S4 methods that are generated with a set method and these uh, there you uh, uh, create a method table for a specific uh, primitive or um, generic function and uh, that's done with this uh, set method and uh, for primitives you don't need, uh, they, they have as the, the uh, generic is basically the, the name of the uh, primitive and for your own functions you create a gener uh, generic function to, by calling to a standard generic and you define the arguments here. And um, so the GNU RS4 method dispatch works as following when you have a, a call uh, uh, to, a met, uh, to a function and the argument is a S4, uh, of an S4 class then um, you uh, get a, a exact and partial uh, and positional matching of the um, of the uh, formals and, and uh, uh, your uh, function call and then the, you get the class and the super class information of each argument uh, that you have used as input. Uh, signature is generated by uh, all possible uh, signatures are then generated and then uh, you do a method lookup and select the closest uh, uh, method, the, the method with the closest signature. And the signature generation works as follows, so um, you get this uh, class and superclass information uh, for all the arguments that are part of the signature, so if you have your signature contains the first three arguments, you will not evaluate the four arguments, so if there is a stop there, you, you don't evaluate it, so it's only the, the part that is part of signature is evaluated and used. 
And uh, so when you have the classes, for example, for the first argument, then you add uh, the distance is for the, the class of the input argument has a distance zero. The super classes have a plus one, depending on, on, on uh, how deep they are, they, they are inherited. And then at the last, you add uh, any, which is, uh, which is the max distance plus one, basically. And there are exceptions for missing and null. Uh, those are uh, handled differently. And again, you generate all possible uh, signatures. And then you do a, a method table lookup. And the method tables are basically environments that contain these methods, and they, they are named. Um, you have to, if you want to see them, you have to do ls all names true because otherwise they are hidden. And they are, they start with dot uh, underscore underscore t underscore underscore, the, the name of generic function, a, a column, and then the, the name of the package where this uh, was defined, the, where the generic function was defined. So for primitives, it will be always be the base package. And then, um, so the, the sorting happens based on whether there is an exact match. So if there is an exact match, uh, the, then the, um, the, the methods with one exact match have a priority, and then they are sorted based on the distance of each argument uh, consecutively. And then there will be a dispatch to the closest method. So, but all this method signature generation, lookup, and selection that comes with a computational price, basically. And this is a, um, a sim very simple basic function um, to just show. Uh, so, this is a function uh, sec count that counts the, uh, how often the sequence ATG, which is the start of any given gene, occurs in a in a um, vector of a million uh, uh, reads that contain 36 characters. So you just do a grab whether this uh, ATG is there. If the, it's there, then you increase the count with one, and then you know how often that has happened. Uh, if you use this standard uh, function, then it's going to take you for a million uh, reads. It's going to take you uh, about nine seconds. You do the same with S4 method, so you, you change these, uh, these counts to, to a S4 object with a slot sec and a slot count and do exactly the same, then it's going to uh, take you 50% 50, uh, 50 longer to, to perform the same. And um, this S4 dispatch has also effects on uh, the, our JIT uh, uh, compiler because uh, whenever there is a S4 method dispatch and there is a need to do a lookup for these methods then um, we, are, we cannot predict what the next uh, steps would be and um, the lookup itself is uh, uh, costly as well and we don't know whether there will be side effects uh, outside the loop uh, what this method does. So uh, for us it's really important to be able to uh, include this information in our JIT compiler. So uh, we, what we have done is we have implemented uh, the method dispatch part of the S4 object system and what, what basically uh, all the steps from creating classes, creating generics, methods, uh, creating this uh, method uh, tables and signatures, everything is done by the R code in methods package. Um, the only part that's different is that we have written our own Java implementation of the method dispatch, which works uh, pretty uh, the same way. We have tried to mimic uh, the same way, although there are a lot of uh, 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 little issues that we have to resolve yet, but then uh, what we do, we, we look for the uh, method table basically because based on the uh, function name we know okay, it's what the 
uh, uh, method table sh should be, and then we look first in global environment, then package namespaces, and then um, we match the arguments of our input with the ar formal arguments of the uh, method definition that we have found. We get the maximum signature length based on the signature and then we evaluate only the parts that are part of the signature, get the classes and generate all possible signatures. And, uh, do a signature lookup and then sort again per, based on the presence of the exact match and uh, we, we are using a weighted distance so we give a, a weight to each uh, argument position that's different I think than how it's done in uh, standard R but we have to see what's faster the giving a weight uh, distance or uh, the, the cost of the sort uh, we have, that's something we have to compare and then the closest method is returned and again you know if it's a generic method and you found only one method then you re return it or um, uh, if the, you found a group method so you, you have uh, also you can also define uh, methods for group functions and um, you return that in other cases where the uh, the uh, method is not extending as four, or it's not an exact match. You have to also include the metadata that uh, uh, about you know where where this uh, uh, which uh, signature has been used and where these methods can be found. Uh, just a simple example: uh, we have a set cla uh, class A and we have class B, which uh, B A, which inherits A. Class, we have a class D and CD that inherits D. And then we have a subset uh, method with set method which has a signature BACD numeric. And, and then what you get is that this becomes the name of the method table and this will become the uh, method definition name uh, inside that method table. Um, and this is based on uh, the signature that was used to define uh, the method. So they, uh, they are first sorted based whether there is a um, um, where is, uh, whether there is a, uh, a zero distance um, um, argument. So in all these cases uh, there is a zero distance argument. Here there is none. So A has a distance of one uh, D has a distance of one um, and any has a distance of one and so these two will be switched uh, in this case because this is a really simple uh, example um, the, the sorting uh, based on distance is not having an effect but when you have more complex situation then they, they go uh, really all the way uh, but then um, this mimics exactly what happens in GNU R so far. And, uh, once we have the method, then um, uh, we can include it in our uh, JIT compiler that's, that's based on the, the four function. So it's, if there is a more than 200 iterations, then it starts with generating the control flow graph, signals, Static assignment form, uh, calculate dominant, the standard things that you do basically in compilers and for optimizations. And um, uh, Alex talked about it this morning. And what we do is that we add and inline the uh, return method. And we perform the same optimizations now also on inline methods so that. We can not only uh, get rid of the lookup uh, for the method, but also optimize the method itself. Yeah, so you, we have, uh, and, and what, if we can do that, then we uh, write the uh, optimized Java bytes code. If not, then we de-optimize and uh, return to interpreter mode. So, uh, the S4 method specializer that we use uh, is, uh, yeah, I explained this already. So, it's inlining the method, performs optim uh, optimizations, co constant propagations, and um, compiles the Java bytecode, basically. 
and our preliminary results <laughs> are uh, yeah, uh, um, we were hoping to have some to be able to show you some data but we are really start struggling with the last bits of it so we try to get it to run this morning and uh, it's inlining already but it's breaking at some point for uh, a reason that we have to debug it so uh, hopefully next time we can show you uh, what the effect will be and hopefully it's going to be significant. Uh, so the, 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 to be able to do that we have to I think, uh, improve the value balance bookkeeping right now it's either uh, a constant or not and we have to uh, uh, extend that and uh, we have to also better mimic the grimoire behave behavior for dispatch there are uh, parts that we haven't looked at, like union classes, and um, we need also to extend the, the number of specializers we have for uh, buildings to support uh, uh, more board courses. And yeah, that's the end. Thank you for your attention.